everyone, this is Eileen Lee. Welcome back to the Hollowitz Club. Here I'll share you the most the latest news about intelligent vision and artificial intelligence. You know, in short, the AI. So today we're joined by Ivy, a senior analyst from Omdia. Let's welcome Ivy. Thanks, Alan. Hello, everyone. I'm Ivy Sun from government and manufacturing team in Omdia. Recently, I'm focused on AI analytics, uh, intelligent video, smart campus, and smart buildings research. Very glad to have this chance to make conversation with Holloway today. Well, thank you, Ivy. Yeah, nowadays, the video security is embracing important changes on the, with the power of AI. There is still plenty of rooms for the intelligent video to develop. So I have a question. So far, what changes or impact has the development of AI had on the global video security market or the whole industry? Uh, I think that's a good question. Uh, we know that in an ever-increasing video-centric IoT world, the ability to process analytics at the edge is fundamental to the development of an intelligent video surveillance market. We see that the professional video surveillance applications increased developments of AI in 2021, and as AI is you know, increasingly being moved from backend to frontend. Uh, in 2021, Omdia, we estimated that AI penetration rate was around 19% globally, both for the cameras and for the recorders. So moreover, it is also expected that a large proportion of medium range market will be penetrated in the future as well. Uh, the compound annual growth rate of embedded AI application could be more than 25% between 2021 and 2026. So more specifically, among different regions, uh, China is acting as the benchmark and has advantages in uh, relatively mature of related vendors, uh, acceptance of end users, and also the richness of the application scenarios. We also estimated that China is leading the AI adoption across the world with the unique shipments um, of embedded deep learning cameras and recorders accounting for around 23% uh, of the total uh, unit shipments. So, however, the other regions such as Southeast Asia and the Middle East also showed huge growth potential compared to China. And this is definitely brings more possibilities to the development of the market. More specifically, in the Middle East region, Saudi Arabia and UAE markets are estimated to grow faster in the future. Uh, with mobility restrictions gradually, gra gradually lifted and the borders reopening, constructions of major projects uh, under Saudi Vision 2030 will accelerate. Some projects, such as Raisi Project, Amala, Kidia, and etc. So, besides Saudi, UAE also announced projects of the 50 program in 2021 to accelerate or to stimulate the nation's development in the next 50 years. Mm -hmm. So the projects such as the Fourth Industrial Revolution Network and the Tyc Drive program um, also like aim to utilize the advanced technologies and also um, indicate UAE's determination to move away from the energy dependency. So that's really impressed me a lot. How did AI develop to such stunning performance this day? And were there any noticeable innovations or example of applications for the AI in use in 2021? Yeah, of course, there's always innovations everywhere. So we know that compared to the traditional analytics tech, AI is mostly deployed and used for increasing efficiency, uh, saving the labor cost, and also uh, reducing the manual errors and etc. So generally, AI could be applied in many domains um, in the smart buildings or smart campus architecture, you know. So we could take sustainability and security as example today. First, we can talk about sustainability. Uh, we know that 
uh, achieving zero carbon emission and green development has become a very important goal for both government and private sector globally. And it is also the crucial target for vendors to highlight when they're trying to launch technologies in the buildings or in the campus. So, so vendors are trying to adopt AI analytics for real-time monitoring to better optimize the resource allocation as well as to promote efficiency of the energy use. You know that by connecting and upgrading the major energy related or energy uh, consuming equipment or applying AI embedded video hardware, the data generated from different sensors could be better aligned and better optimized. Mm. After that, the energy saving software uh, could be applied along with the BMS platform uh, to better leverage the energy use uh, to centralize control the related sensors um, and form a report finally. So this kind of solution not only could provide the uh, executive management with some visibility of the energy consumption, but also could help the campus and the buildings save more than 30% of the total energy use every year. So, so this is all about the sustainability. Now we can move to security a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know, AI is very crucial for the yeah. video content yeah. because metadata has the great value. Mm -hmm. uh, AI also has the ability to empower the capability to structure the video content for some profound applications. Mm -hmm. So this is what AI could do for the, for the security. Uh, you know that um, AI could be both uh, embedded in the equipment or on the cloud. For an embedded solution, if AI embedded in the front end, uh, the camera could trigger alarm automatically when detect a threat. For example, if a worker is not wearing the hot hat, that's a threat, right? Yeah. Um, and then it could notice the security stuff and awake the related equipment to avoid danger at the same time. So that is AI embedded in the front end. Mm -hmm. So if AI embedded in the back end, uh, the GPU could generate pictures by real-time processing the video stream from the camera and then do second real-time analysis and get smaller pictures. For example, like extract one people from the crowd. So that's an example. Uh, it could also allocate capacity and provide um, flexibility to the video stream from many cameras. Mm -hmm. So um, after that, the data from the real world could also be a good source for multi-dimensional analysis and also good for the algorithms optimizing. Uh, in this case, make better forecasts bef before the event become reality. Yeah, the development of AI is really amazing in many fields. It brings great convenience for a wide range of the industry or the society. So that brings me to the next question, Ivy. As a senior analyst, how do you think the video security industry and our customer benefit from AI? Yeah, I think that's the question that a lot of people will ask me about the opportunities or challenges of the AI. Uh, we see that fragmentation is an inevitable trend as AI continues its product segmentation vertically and uh, market penetration horizontally. Uh, in, in fact, I think this kind of fragmentation also could bring uh, opportunities to stakeholders in this whole industry. First of all, the differentiation of the uh, application scenarios may give more possibilities to small and medium-sized companies with resource and technological advantages in this industry. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the problems you know, caused by the data silos also could create opportunities for the data, we call that data intelligence platform. You know that um, recently, uh, analytics platform is a very hot topic or popular yeah. theme on cloud AI, right? Yeah. So by cooperating with different types of um, analytics 
partners. The vendors could integrate analytics and provide applications such as shelf management, uh, such as contraband detection, uh, crop management, and so on. So that is uh, vendors can do by using that. So generally, customers could build their own applications of core inferences by using different types of APIs. Then the partner organization could uh, run another layer of analytics on the image, thus to increase the flexibility and the lower the customer's cost. Yeah, I completely agree with you. And I think Holowitz will hold the same perspective with you too. Yeah, we believe the age of AI is arrived and AI is on. It will be a promising enabler that not only boosts the contemporary video security industry and push it forward. So according to our success cases that Hollow is created with our global partner, yeah, the AI power Hollow is software defined camera, just the SDC you know, <laughs> are widely used to meet various scenario specific requ requirements. For example, in intelligent transportation scene, we can automatically detect, recognize, and classify dangerous traffic events such as speeding, wrong way driving, or the red light running, yeah. And in intelligent campus, campus scene, we can provide functions such as parking violation detections, smoke and fire recognitions, crowd density analysis, video-based parameter detection, and target recognitions. And what's more, in retail areas such like the store or the shopping mall, we can use the heat map for intelligent business management and recognizing for people wears a hard hat or high visibility reflective vest at construction site. This ultimately capability is because Hollowit, we build a powerful and open ecosystem. We allowing the third party algorithm to be installed on our stunning SDC. Wow, that's a lot of innovations. We see that Holloway's got some wonderful achievements and we really look forward to more progress and breakthrough from Holloway's in this domain in the future. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your prize. And many thanks for Ivy today for sharing her opinion with us. Thank you all for watching and catch you next time. Thank you.